Hey everybody, so over the weekend a friend of mine received uh, his X68000Z uh, device. And uh, again, this is something that's only available in Japan, so there aren't a whole lot of folks out there that probably have this, uh, at least not in the States or in Canada or in other places. But, um, but anyways, he has it, and the first thing he wanted to do, of course, is add more games to it and try different games. And uh, what he discovered was that it, it wasn't that easy. Uh, so if you look online uh, and check out all the archives and all the different places where you can find games for this device, uh, they're in a different format. Uh, so that's what this video is about, is how to help you convert your games into the XDF format that is required by this device. Um, and it's something new for me because I've never done anything like this, uh, but I use ChatGPT because I'm not a coder, but uh, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, for this example, I just have a, a demo folder where I have like four different games and they're uh, different formats, DIM uh, and HDM. I don't have other formats, but those are the two that we're going to use here. But uh, basically, uh, what you're going to need is this XDF tools uh, file, and it will be in the description. So just the link, the link to this is in the in the description, so you can check it out. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and extract this, so we can talk about what's inside. Uh, so these are the XDF tools. So these scripts, the majority of these scripts were written by a, another guy named uh, Pedro Pedro Jimeno. Uh, I came across uh, a Mr. Uh, website, a Mr. Forum, it's, and it was an X68000 um, thread. And um, basically, he had all these tools in his uh, uh, signature, and I was, you know, I was able to use them and start messing with them, and I was like, wow, those are pretty cool. So uh, all credit goes to him because, I mean, he's the one that basically... All of his scripts are what's actually doing all the work behind the scenes. The only thing I did is I created this script that consolidates all of these different scripts and does just does all the work for you instead of you having to go in and convert one thing to one format and then convert that into a different format. Uh, the, the XDF maker basically consolidates all of these scripts and spits out uh, the files that you're going to need. So, And I'm not um, a coder in, at all. I use ChatGPT, uh, so that was, the, that was a cool experience doing that over the weekend, uh, messing with that, and uh, it actually worked out, so it's, it's working. Uh, my, my buddy uh, confirmed that it's working. You're going to see video uh, of uh, some games you know, running on his, uh, on his system. I don't even have the device, which I'm, I probably mentioned that earlier, but, um, but anyway, these are all the tools that you're going to need. We're going to go ahead and um, copy all of them. And we're going to place them into that folder. So whichever folder you have all your games in, you're going to want to put that in there. So now that they're in there, you have everything you need. We're going to go ahead and go back. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a terminal at this folder. So right click on the folder that you're wanting to uh, do all your, all your stuff. So I'm going to do new terminal at folder. So now I'm ready to go. So just in case if you want to, you can do ls just to kind of list everything out so those are all the as you can see those are all the the game files that are there uh, along with the scripts okay but you're not going to mess with any of those other than xdf maker so what i what i type out here is i'm going to put python 3 xdf maker dot pi and then hit enter and that's it so um it, it should be done, right? So the, here's what we're going to do now. Is that now I'm going to go back into the demo folder. And it's now you have a new folder that, that was created, this x86k xdf. So when you click on here, as you can see now, all those different games were converted into xdf. Kept the file names, everything stayed the same. But now you have xdf files. Now these files right here is what you'd be able to use on your SD cards. Now, from my understanding is that if you have multiple disks and you're going to have to put uh, you're going to have to use two SD cards so like for you know S disk 1 and disk 2 and you're going to have to kind of move those files over uh, cuz that's just kind of how the system worked it it kind of acts as if it was the uh, original x68000 so it's looking for multiple uh, it's looking through multiple drives all right so here's my buddy Damien uh, setting up his uh, x68000 uh, z uh, he's flaunting his Neo Geo pad, but uh, yeah, it works. Also, in the 2.4 gigahertz, actually works on these on on the uh, on this device, on the system. Uh, but yeah, you're just starting it up, and really, what this is going to just show is, um, you know, the startup sequence, but how to navigate to where you can actually pull up your uh, files from your SD card or your SD cards. 
because there's actually two slots uh, that you'll need to separate your games and like your disc one games in one uh, in one SD card and disc two in the other one. But, but yeah, this is him going into the system, and he's now converted all these different files that you're going to see here. Um, here it comes right here. So those are all the games that he's already converted. And uh, from what he tells me is that they're all working uh, wonderfully. So that's a good thing. Uh, but yeah, it was a lot of fun uh, setting this thing up and learning um, how to talk to ChatGPT to get the output that I needed. Uh, it took a lot of uh, trial and error and going back and forth. And um, when something wasn't working, I had to you know, just kind of let it know that, hey, look, this isn't working. This is what I need. And uh, it was successful, so it was really cool. It was a really fun experience. I actually learned a little bit about uh, the, I guess the the logic in the in the in Python. I guess that's the language that, it, that, that it's using. I don't know, um, but um, I, by all means, I, I'm not an expert <laughs> at all. But I did kind of understand a little bit about how it works, which is kind of cool. Um, so I'm looking forward to future projects that I might be able to utilize <laughs> ChatGPT to help me uh, get some things done. That way I don't have to bother my other friend, uh, Acme Plus, on uh, silly little things like this. Um, well, so he could uh, concentrate on other bigger and better things. Um, but yeah, this is it. So, I mean, the, the rest of this video is just going to be, you know, clips of him coming out and into the system. Uh, earlier, we were, he already showed, you know, him ejecting. So there's like a reset button on top that you have to push um, to get back into the menu. And at some points, you might have to eject your disk and then, you know, like load it back up to, to load the content. Um, but yeah, just enjoy the rest of the video. Uh, otherwise, uh, you can go ahead and leave now and uh, download the tool and just get started if you've been having a hard time uh, getting this done. But let me know. Let me know in the comments if, if you found another tool, if there's something else out there. Because, like I said, uh, we spend a lot of time looking for things. And uh, there was like a Windows tool. Uh, that's like an old tool that was working, but we don't have Windows devices, so we both have Macs. So we needed to find a solution to make it work with what we had. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments if you've already been successful and have figured things out. If you have something that works out even better than what you know what I came up with. Um, but anyways, hope you enjoy it. Hope it, it it's some use to you or someone that's out there uh, and that it's useful and you get some uh, more games going. But uh, again, thanks for checking out the channel. As always. 